with all the toxins and stress that we encounter each day and the body's tendency to absorb everything, most of us eventually feel worn down. I'm feeling a little bit like that today. But knowing how to live the holistic way might just give you the edge over others. It will not only help you fight stress, it will also improve your health and overall, well, it will improve your health overall. Joining us this morning to talk about holistic living is Dr. Jason Peñaranda, an integrative medicine practitioner. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Paolo. Integrative medicine, that's an interesting uh, field. Uh, let's talk about that. What exactly does that mean? Uh, basically, when we say integrative, it's a combination of the existing conventional Western medicine mm -hmm. and the um, traditional natural ways of uh, healing. Okay. Uh, here we have the acupuncture mm -hmm. from, from the East. We have uh, herb, uh, herbal healing, all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Basically, we combine the okay. best practices from the different principles. All right. Well, let's let's set the stage here. I mean, we, we mentioned during the opening that, yeah, we, we, we really are living in a time when, when stress does sort of affect us. It does sort of mm -hmm. uh, collect in our body in, in various forms, and it manifests itself uh, in, in many different ways from, you know, from, from having bad skin, from having trouble sleeping, from actual yes. medical conditions that can really be attributed towards uh, stress and toxins in the body. And where we're talking about uh, addressing those those problems in a in a very holistic way i mean we're talking about holistic versus symptomatic can you can you okay. fill us in there there are two ways we can view the term holistic mm -hmm. one is to recognize that the organs of the body do not work independently from each other right they they work together that's mm -hmm. why when you have a problem with one organ you also consider how it affects the rest yeah, of the, the body rest, right the other way to look at holistic is to consider the different aspects of the human system that mm -hmm. we have a physical body, mm -hmm. we have um, the mind and the soul. Mm -hmm. So we don't just work on the physical symptoms or whatever the body, uh, the illnesses of the body. Right. We also consider you do have emotions, you uh -huh. do have thoughts, mm -hmm. and that we also uh, have some sort of spiritual uh, part in our system. and. To live a holistic life, we have to address all those three things. Okay, yeah. Uh, let, let's talk a bit more about that, the, the mind-body-spirit connection, really, mm -hmm. and how important <coughs> it is to balance all those things, to have uh, a very uh, a healthy and, and balanced life. Um, a lot of people find that the, it's an imbalance in between those, those aspects that really cause uh, some of the, the problems that we have, which really all can be traced back to stress yes. and the toxins that, that come from that. Um, detox is sort of a very popular term yes. uh, that's been coined nowadays. Uh, a lot of people talk, you know, use the, the, the term yes. very loosely. But is there is there a very is there a formal uh, 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 way to describe okay. detox? Detox is basically short for detoxification, mm -hmm. which means taking out the toxins from your system. Okay. In medicine, this is what we call excretion, okay. or basically eliminating wastes. We have natural ways to eliminate the mm -hmm. waste. Uh, these are the bowel movement, right. urination, sweating, and mm -hmm. exhalation. Mm -hmm. But they work under, under ideal in, uh, situations. Uh, that's okay. Right. But in modern living, that's no, that no longer holds true. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. really have to make... Things have changed. I mean, the way yes. we live is, is very different. Exactly. So, uh, that's not enough. So we have to support our system with other ways to detoxify. Uh, when you say other ways, what are we talking about here? Uh, obviously, diet, exercise. Yes, and, we can start from the very basic way of just increasing your fluid intake, mm -hmm. water or mm -hmm. vegetable juices and fruit juices. Mm -hmm. That's one very good way mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, an integral part of it also is to increase your fruits and vegetables because okay. we need the fibers right. and the antioxidants from the plant-based food. Mm -hmm. Ideally, uh, you take them fresh. Okay? If you go more into the processed food, then yeah, you're getting something, but you also get the toxins, the, right. the chemicals that go with it. Okay. Uh, you, you, you say that you prefer to actually approach uh, you know, your healing in the sense that you prefer to help people stay healthy, so help healthy people stay healthy yes. rather than um, treat uh, a problem that's already there. The best treatment is really to prevent having Yes, uh, it's always happen. easier to uh, prevent people from getting sick mm -hmm. instead of, you know, patient coming to you already sick with a lot of things. Okay. It takes more effort, right. it takes more time, and mm -hmm. usually it's more expensive. Okay. So when they come, I prefer that you come to me before you get sick. Let's keep you that way, uh -huh. and then worry about 
some other thing. Okay, well, well, assuming uh, <coughs> for for people who do have who have developed problems, which can be traced back to you know stress and the toxins that develop from there, uh, what are some of the treatments that you find are most effective in terms of uh, you you are very much into. Uh, herbology and and the, the use of herbs to to treat uh, mm -hmm. certain illnesses and ailments. What what seems to be uh, a very effective uh, okay. route? There are basically four areas that I always look into when I treat patients. These are areas that affect your health that okay. are within your control. Okay. This is your nutrition, your detox, your exercise, and your rest and relaxation. Right. They always go together. Nutrition, you take in something. Mm -hmm. Detox, you bring something out. Okay. Uh, exercise, that's where you work, mm -hmm. and rest, you, that's, you know, when you work, you have to rest also. Yeah, yeah. Now, people know about nutrition, relatively, mm -hmm. uh, they exercise, but the area that is not very easily understood by most people, or do not know, they do not know how to go about it, is detox. Right. So usually, when a patient comes to me, uh, I, I interview, I check the history, what, what, what are your circumstances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then from there, we can identify the areas where the toxins are coming in. Okay. Are you into a lot of processed food? Are you into alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, synthetic drugs, and mm -hmm, all those mm -hmm. things? So we tailor fit the detox so the patient won't have a hard time adjusting. Okay. Uh, meaning, if, if this is how you live your life, as much as possible, we, we try not to take you out of that comfort zone. Uh -huh. It will be a very gradual process. Right. And you also espouse uh, the patient actually embracing these things as an active choice on his part. Uh, yes. You, you present the choices and the options, and you really, they have to do their part by taking you know, taking the making the choice and, and, and following up on those choices that uh, you, you've given them. Yes, I don't tell them that this is the better way to do it or mm -hmm. this is how you do it. Mm -hmm. I just tell them that this is another way of doing it. Right. Uh, and then, so they have an option. Which works for you? Which do you think makes more sense to you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's really more of a choice, okay. not really pushing that one is better than the other. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to touch on, on, well, you know, being a little heavier, being a little more overweight is some, you know, it's a, it's a result of stress. A lot of people actually find the eating is, is yes, it's an a outlet for, for, for handling their stress. And, and uh, the result of that is, is sometimes a, an, an, an unhealthy weight. Um, people are talking about your, your J pills, your, your, no, J your diet, uh, <laughs> your J caps, uh, which was started out as something that you, you sort of put together for, for, for yourself or friends. For friends. And, and it's, it's sort of caught on because it's, it seems to be a very effective way to address a weight issue that, that can be traced back to maybe uh, uh, stress and the way yes, it manifests yes. in our body. Basically, the J-CAPS is not really a weight loss pill. Okay. It started really as a, well, my friends wanted to have something that would help them lose weight naturally. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But the way I approach it was really to, to detoxify. Okay. My target here is the liver. The liver uh -huh. is the main organ that metabolizes your fats. Unfortunately, it's also the most abused okay. because all the toxins that come into your system. I mean, it's a filter. They, yeah. I mean, it basically filters everything. Yeah, it's that the main your detox body. organ. Yeah. So by cleaning that up, it allows your system to facilitate better metabolism of fats. Okay. Note that it does not eliminate exercise uh -huh. because even if your liver is very efficient, if it has no need to burn the fats, mm. then th it it won't happen. Right. Also, when we put that together, we, as I said, we do it in a holistic way. Mm -hmm. We also consider the kidneys, yeah. which regulate your fluids, mm -hmm. which again, uh, affects your weight. Right. It's, I just wanted Stress. to make, uh, put an interesting story there is that nowadays there's uh, so many incidences of, of renal failure and, and, and that yes. sort of thing <laughs> in very young people. So you can really see that the type of effect that the lifestyle that we have now has because in, in past years you didn't see this type of kidney and liver damage before. So this is, this is an excellent way to really address mm, yes. some Basically, of the, the, the weight loss mm -hmm. is um, it's just a bonus. Mm -hmm. You detoxify first and right. then the weight loss comes in. But you see, the body has a way of uh, prioritizing things. Mm -hmm. If the weight loss is not the most significant medical problem you have at the moment, then yeah. maybe it can just come in later. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll have better sleeping patterns first, right. better bowel movement, yeah. or just a more uh, regular energy levels uh -huh. instead of, of fluctuating. Sometimes you're depressed, sometimes you're up. 
Uh, and this goes back to, to really what you were talking about, um, the body working as a, a unified whole. Uh, yes. and, and the body, mind, and the spirit really uh, working in balance and in tandem with each other. Yes. Okay, uh, if you had to give a, a few tips uh, on, on, for people to, to help manage uh, stress levels, to help manage the toxins in one's body, things that you can be doing uh, in your everyday life, things that you can be doing at home, yeah. uh, what, what are some of your top tips? Okay, one, increase your fluid intake. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you should have a glass of uh, fresh fluid every hour. Okay. Either uh, f uh, water or fresh juices. Okay. Uh, you, you need to increase your fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. You have to have regular exercise. You hear a lot about organic nowadays. Does it have to be organic? Uh, you know. If it's available or if you have the resources to 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 get organic, that's Why better. Not? Why not? Because that's free of supposedly free of. Uh, all these chemicals, chemicals from, from pesticides. Okay. You can you can uh, you can have basic detox, like you can have what we call the fruit detox. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, you can have one whole day you just eat nothing but fruits, mm -hmm. as much as you can. You can have that for a day. Mm -hmm. You can extend it to several days if you want, but you do it gradually. Meaning, you start one day, the following day it's back to regular meals, All and right. then the next day you start again until you reach a, a level that's convenient for you. Okay, very cool. So if people wanted to, to learn a little bit more about uh, you, you know, your, 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 what you espouse and what you teach, uh, where can they find you? When the, uh, uh, we hold campus? clinic in Makati, mm -hmm. uh, Aesthetic Science. All right. That's in Jupiter Street, uh, Makati. Mm -hmm. uh, or they can find us on Facebook. Just uh, type in digestive cleansing. Uh -huh. Uh, also, they can reach us as, at uh, 0916 6858108. Or uh, zero nine two zero nine two six five four one four. There you go. I, we've got your details up on screen. If people are interested uh, to talk to Dr. Jason Peñaranda, he is there and waiting for your for your call. Thank you for for this little chat thank this morning. You, I'm feeling you. better already after our <laughs> chat. <laughs> we, can, we can chat after. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jason, thank for uh, for all me. that advice on detox. Thank you.